Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the course Python for Beginners and in this particular course we have already uploaded a playlist on NumPy library and here we are back with another library that is plotting library and we call it matplotlib.pyplot. So this particular library will be importing for the plotting. So you need to initially import NumPy because we will be handling matrices and for handling matrices this particular library is important. So we write import NumPy as NP. So NP is the short form as I have already mentioned in the previous videos. Then we write import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. Again this PLT is the short form. Now what we do we uh, define two arrays x and y as dependent and independent variables. So let us define x say x equal to np dot array we have already talked about it and here we define say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 simply we are defining and then we define the dependent variables say y and we write np dot array again now we uh, write this as twice of x so 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma 10 comma 12 comma 14 comma 16 comma 18 comma 20 so this is how we define two arrays one is x another is y and then we can actually plot for plotting we have to write plt dot plot so plt is the short form we have imported and we write plt dot plot x comma y so it will plot y versus x if we click on run then initially it will take some time for the initialization and you can see this is the plot so here you can see the plot has y versus x because this is the x array it goes from 1 to 10 and this is the y array but you see you don't have any level for y or x but in general in a graph we have levels we have a heading or the title so how to put that and also the aspect ratio of this particular thing so the aspect ratio is taken by default but what if we want to change the aspect ratio so initially let us talk about the aspect ratio so in order to maintain the aspect ratio what we write we write plt dot then there is an option plt dot figure basically and then within a bracket we write fig size so this is the argument for defining a particular size then a equal sign and within parenthesis you define the aspect ratio say 5 by 5 and if we define it will become a square because we have defined 5 by 5 and you can see if we change this one it will also change the aspect ratio. So this is how you can actually change it can be made 8 by 5 then you can actually imagine imagine what will happen now what I do is I want to put a title for this particular plot so in order to put a title you have to write plt dot title and then within parenthesis whatever you write it will come and the write-up should be in within inverted comma so I write a generic plot for learning anything you can write I am just writing it so if I write it and click on then you can see you will have a name or title to the plot so yeah it will come it's taking some time so meanwhile let us try to write on the x and y axis level 
so for that what we write plt dot x label so it will give labeling for x axis again within inverted comma we can write say x axis and you can also define the font size if we want to define the font size we write font size is equal to say I write 14 14 would be the font size similarly if we want to write for y level what we do we write plot y level so this will be y axis same font some issue is there so let us run the code in a separate cell so we have taken a separate cell yeah it has worked you can see the heading has also come the heading is the generic plot for learning and it is y axis and this is x axis now if you have some unit then you can just simply within bracket you can write unit say x axis unit say centimeter I mean arbitrarily I am defining and say y axis unit is say Pascal so if you click you can see so this now looks like a plot which you can use for some representation now in this plot what we have done is we have actually used uh, an arbitrary array like array of x and array of y but what if we want to use some analytical function so actually in python everything is numeric but still we can actually do something so that we can plot some analytical expression and for that what we can do the, suppose we define another array say by lin space and we have talked about np.lin space in our previous course so you can go back to the python uh, numpy uh, series there you will be getting the information about those arrays so lin space arbitrary array or whatever you want to define all the things have been discussed so here we define an array where uh, using lin space so the array will be going from minus 5 to 5 and this 100 means there will be 100 division in between minus 5 and 5 now again let us plot something say we plot plt dot plot and we plot say x by x square so this is x square and let us click so you can see uh, it's not x this will be a because x is different x is the previous one yeah so minus 5 to 5 this is the array a and we have plotted for a square we could have also plotted for a cube I mean whatever you want to plot you can actually define it and you can plot so this is how you can actually plot an analytical expression suppose we want to plot some expression say a square minus 5 into a plus 2 say this expression we want to plot so we can actually achieve the same so similarly whatever <coughs> function you have you can actually define the function and plot it and for the range you can take a lin space of the independent variable and that will make your case now in order to do some aesthetic what you can do is you can copy and paste this so it will give you a name uh, you can actually select it and then control C 
and then we go back here and we can actually define the figure size this definition we can put at the beginning of the plot this plot is not required because we already have a plot so the title could be function plot say we are plotting a function so we can name it as function plot and say in the x-axis let us keep it because for learning purpose so you can see function plot y x came and you can actually plot a particular function so this was i mean those things are very fundamental things for a plotting if you have some function if you have matrices you can actually plot using this matplotlib library so today we only talked about very fundamental things and only about two dimensional plot but there are multiple other plot there could be pie chart there could be bar plot and there could be surface plot in 3d so we'll be talking about all those things one by one the target of this course is to make short videos so that you can spend 10 minutes and you can learn something and every day if you spend 10 minutes then your learning about comsol will be ready within a month so targeting this we are only uploading short videos however if you run the entire series you can learn about it in a single shot so today i stop here and i request you to subscribe to our channel for more updates